Catherine, yeah. you've been hugely involved and done so much to put all this together over the last few um, months. I'm sure you're happy. It's been a, it's been a great success. Oh, it's been a fantastic success. And I'm just thrilled to bits that all my friends have jumped to, taken part and given, given the choir so much support and so much pleasure. It's fantastic. Perfect, perfect for, lockdown. for lockdown. Oh, absolutely perfect for lockdown. And um, it's, just, it's just a joy to be able to support fellow musicians and certainly uh, Capella are as good as any professional choir I've ever heard. They're fantastic, made up of marvellous individuals, but operating under their great conductor, Donald. I don't, oh, there you are, Donald. There you are. Got you. Um, and it's, um, it all started because I met Donald when I was working for the Glen Arm Festival of Voice, which is where I've met most of the young singers, oh, either that or like young Ben McAteer down in my corner at the uh, opera studio. And um, when uh, Donald suggested to David as the new chairman who'd come up with these brilliant ideas for prestige interviews, uh, we had a chat about it. And I just thought, well, at least uh, this is a time when musicians need to show support for each other. And I wrote to all my friends and they all just agreed to take part, which I think is wonderful. So COVID notwithstanding and pandemic notwithstanding, are you confident about the future of singing here in Northern Ireland? Well, I mean, you've got bags and bags of talent. Um, and it's interesting. I mean, it's very difficult at the moment because, uh, well, as Mary was saying early, you know, I believe you've just been told that you're going to be locked down till April. Um, I suppose eventually the world will achieve some sort of new normal where we can all get together and we can get into theatres. Uh, I do feel, I'll be honest, that uh, the self-employed um, members of the arts industries uh, have been slightly neglected or rather very neglected. And the people I feel most, uh, well, sympathy for it, as a singer, it's all these young singers who were poised to um, get out there really had been offered super contracts and everything's been canceled. So am I, um, I think it's going to be a, a mixture in the future. I think what this experience has done for us is shown us that there are other ways that people connect with music, but there ultimately is no substitute for being in a theater with lots of people listening and watching a live performance, there, there's nothing to beat that. And I, I, that's one of the things, technology is great. And I think there's a real place for it. And I mean, I never thought that I'd be doing this. Um, you only have to ask my children to. And, um, but I, there's no substitute for live performance. So I'm, I'm hopeful. My daughter lives in Australia and they're living a completely normal life there. Uh, they've only had 909 deaths. That's still a lot of people. Yes. But it's on a completely different scale than what we have in this country. And she doesn't have to wear a mask to go to the shops. She's able to work. Her little baby goes off to daycare. She goes to parties. She goes to restaurants and cafes. They go to the cinema. <laughs> it's like a distant dream. It's all in front of us. It'll all come back. I hope so. But I mean, you know, I think what I've learned out of this is uh, how important it is to be with other people. You know, I'm pretty good at being on my own. I mean, Felicity and Della and any of the professional singers would say you learn to be very self-sufficient because you have to mm -hmm. when you're stuck, you know, 5000 miles away and you're on your own and uh, a cast that you don't know. You've just got to be self-sufficient. But um, I think that's the thing I've learned the most. However self-sufficient I am, I really do miss seeing people, teaching people live, not on Zoom, um, and just being able to give somebody a hug. I mean, the last uh, time I saw my son and his family was Christmas Day. And I hope to see them sometime in March. <laughs> 
Fingers crossed. Fingers 